Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Here I'm doing a 100 Lico challenge. Today, we have another two sum problem. We have done the boot force version for this two sum solution. And today we have to do a, a more efficient way, which is using linear time. Let's go into the problem. So what's two sum? Two sum is the most popular Lico problem. And basically, it input a uh, array of integer nums and an integer target. So we turn the index of two number that such that they add up to the target. So to this question, it will have exactly one solution. So we output the indexes of the two numbers in here. Here's an example. So we have a numbers of array, I mean, uh, num uh, arrays of integer. So we have two, seven, 11, 15. So only two and seven right here adds up uh, equal to the target. So what we need to do is we turn the indices of all uh, two and seven, which is zero and one here. And another example in here, two, um, you have two and four as up to six. So we have one and two to, for output. And now here is zero and one. So three and three as up to six. So the idea of this um, solution is using hash map. So hash map, you can see if we have two right here and we're, we're looking for um, seven, which is nine minus two to have a match. So if we have missed two, we have to add something in the hash map to store what we are looking for. So we make this so it's easier to understand. We assume this bracket is a hash map. So hash map key on the left side is integer. Right side is also an integer for indexes. So if we have two, we get two, uh, we will put seven in here. So because seven is what we are looking for in order to match the sum of the target. So after you get that one and then you put the index of the first, um, the, the one that you're looking for, we mean it's two. So we put zero in here, the current index. Luckily, when we loop to another one, which is seven, and we check if the map has the key of itself, if seven already, that means some, some, something, uh, some number before that is looking for seven. So if it contained a seven, then we will output the first indexes and the current indexes, which is seven's index. So that's the logic of this problem. So let's code this out. First of all, we have make it output, which is and a map of integer and integer. We call it map hash map. We only need one loop of i equal to zero. I is less. The loop through every numbers. So like what we said, if the map contain key numbers of x current one current number in that case we will fill the output zero to map dot get nums x 
one is equal to sorry so what i'm doing i try to get uh go back to the example right here so we look through this seven right here and two it already make a uh, number seven and zero index right here. So if in this case seven, uh, we're recurring at seven. So the map contain the key seven. Oh, sorry, this is to be high. Uh, and if this contains seven, so we'll put uh, the index zero at the beginning, and the second output will output is equal to i, the current index, which is two. I mean, it's just one in here. Otherwise, if it doesn't ha contain the key, what we need to do is push the target minus current numbers i and the current indexes. In this case, the first number we loop in is two and two. So what we are looking for is targets minus two. So we'll put seven and the current index zero into the map. So that's it for this uh, solution. And after all the loop, we find it in this way return the output if we found it otherwise also return output at la at the last yeah it passed the case and let's submit it cool um it passed so if you have any question please comment it below. And if you like the video, please give it a like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.